Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 25th, and today was a virtually perfect day weather-wise, absolutely, absolutely beautiful, um, nice little bit of cool in the air in the morning, just the way you love it, low humidity for Florida, I mean it's still high humidity for like Arizona, but low for Florida, um, got this morning, got a couple things kind of simply done, decided to go for a run, Karen wanted to go for a run, and her plan last time we talked was she was going to do a run-walk program without any timer. Just when she felt like running, she'd run. When she felt like walking, she'd walk. So I decided to take her out to my favorite running trail um, out there. Uh, I call it Port Orange Trail because that's what the GPS says I'm at when I ask Siri where I was at. Although it's not that far out north of um, New Smyrna Beach. It's like the southern edge of Port Orange area. So went ahead, got there, um, ended up... Wow. That's really low. But got out there, um, parked in a different spot that I usually don't park in. I only park there one at a time. Um, ends up being a great little spot to park. But I don't know the trails over in that part as well. And, like, I don't know how far it is back to the parking lot. So I kind of should have went to the other entrance where I have ran from many, many times. And that was my original plan was to go there. Because I kind of knew what about a three or four mile loop would be at different spots to take her out and look at that spot and come back, look at that spot and come back. And somehow, I have no idea why, my brain just didn't go to the other parking lot. They went to the new one that I don't go to before. So I ended up over there by the Frisbee Golf Course, I guess is kind of the best way to describe it. Um, ended up over there. I was like, hey, no big deal, yada, yada. It's all good. Took off for our run. Um, she was just running along, nice little pace. It's her first time technically on a real technical trail ever. And there's a lot of um, just roots and a lot of sticks and a lot of sand and just a lot, pretty technical little trail. She got off running and she'd walk and run and walk and run and just kept going. And I kind of kept asking her, how you doing? What are you thinking? Blah, blah. I only had one water bottle with me because why not? You know, we're going here for, you know, two to four miles at most. And she kept running and kept running and thought she's doing good. She's doing good. And this and that ended up over at the other parking lot and then headed back over. And she ended up knocking out her first 10K ever. I was super excited. Um, she, I guess, realized about a little over four miles that she wanted to do a 10K and didn't really describe that to me. So I wasn't sure how far we were going. I was just going to keep letting her run. Like, I didn't know if she's going to run for like a half marathon or what she's going to do. And at one point, I realized we're going to be like eight miles out probably by the time we get back to the car. And I said, Are you done or are you still wanting to run? She's like, I'm kind of ready to be done. Like, I want to head back to the car. And I'm like, Okay, we need to turn around and go back down this trail over here then. So, which we did. It worked out really well. Um, was a great time. Ran to a handful of people out there with some good dogs and had one crappy lady with a crappy dog. But other than that, it was all good. Um, had a great run. She, like I said, she knocked out 10K plus. Um, super excited about that and I'm really shit I'm already this far into it I might as well make this one of my 52 long runs for the year so left her at the car and took off and ran the rest of my distance to get my long run in um, had a great little run it was awesome got back to the house got cleaned up in that um, thought about taking a nap because like I was gonna be a late night tonight so went ahead and said to hell with it we got all cleaned up um, actually I was gonna wash the car the neighbor saw me um, with the power washer out I guess the other neighbor next to him was um, looking to get um, her sidewalk power washed off. I guess they have like a little crappy um, 1700 PSI and the boyfriend was running it and was like drawing circles and stuff on the sidewalk and thought it'd be all cute. And then now he can't get those off because it's like the pinpoint thing instead of the wand. So it wasn't coming clean. So the neighbor kind of volunteered my uh, power washer. I went ahead and washed my car off, topped the gas tank, went and dropped it off across the street. Um, heard about they're using it for quite a while. I had to get a shower. <laughs> Apparently it's bike week this week. <laughs> bike week we thought was done, but hopefully those aren't new neighbors with new bikes. That's going to be annoying if that continues on forever. So right now it seems louder because the windows are open. Once the windows are shut and the air conditioning is on, it won't be quite so bad. But we're in the front house, uh, the front bedroom, and um, the windows are open, so it's double whammy. But went ahead. Um, they got that power washed out. I was in the shower, and they brought it back over and dropped it off, gave it to Karen and that. And I put it away. It was all good. We um, basically headed out to a uh, food truck event. Monster food truck event, I think is what they're calling it. Um, it was like 40 food trucks. It was ridiculous how many there at the High Life building. Never been there before. A uh, little car show. Mostly like tuners, um, ricers and stuff. A lot of new um, like Dodge Chargers and stuff like that that really was not my um, cup of tea. A really badass old 70s Toyota Corolla wagon that I was that was probably my favorite car there. It was a 65 Mustang convertible that wasn't in the show, but it was actually a really nice car. It was just in the parking lot there. It was kind of funny. But 
nothing else really there really like tripped my trigger. Like there was nothing I really wanted, but I'd take that Corolla wagon like in a heartbeat. That thing was super cool. So, and the guy was really proud of it. He had the custom headliner and custom interior and all a bunch of stuff. And he was there kind of bragging his car up a little bit. And he just, it wasn't really nice. It was just, he was super proud of it. And it was like he'd done a lot of the work himself. So I was really proud of the guy for that. Um, talked to Jimmy, talked to Corey, Tori a little bit. Um, we into Tanya and David at the um, food truck event. Then we headed over to Universal. Um, ended up grabbing some poo- food at Panda Express. Um, from there, headed in and realized that Karen's uh, pass is expired. So we were told we could, once it um, came of date, because the time ran out, they would basically allow um, her just to do a month to month. That way it would tie in to when mine uh, expires in a couple months. We could just then decide to renew them both or go to Disney for passes and that. Um, we went over for the one concert of Mardi Gras that I wanted to see and um, just couldn't get in. So we went and stood in line at uh, customer service, talked to them forever, and the one was like, I said, is there like any way we just get like a one day pass? We clearly, you know, annual membership, had it for over a year. We're not trying to like just go the one day and never come back. And she goes, let me see what I can do. We can get you in. This is, by the way, this is two hours before the park closes. And we've said like, we're going to watch the stupid concert. I can get you in for $124. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm good, go away. So basically, Karen told me to um, basically go enjoy the concert. She'd hang around City Walk and that and just kind of enjoy herself, the chocolate factory and that kind of stuff. Um, I went to head in, and because we couldn't get her card figured out, I tried to scan my card and I got back over there. And I don't know if they had like flagged it for like possibly of us trying to sneak her in or what, because like they said, I had to go talk to customer service and prove my ID to get in at that time. I was like, ah, oh, fuck this. I just, they said, you, it shows you're already in the park. And I'm like, I'm not in the park. I clearly didn't, but I was like, screw it. And it was just, oh my God, it was insanely packed. It was just so crowded. Last night at Mardi Gras parade, all that kind of stuff. And it was just, I was not going to have fun there. Plus, we're about her being bored and that. Which, go back to the car and watch like Hulu or Netflix on the iPad. But I was just like, screw it. I just left and said, hell, went and found her at the chocolate factory. We hung around a little bit. And then basically, we headed on home and had ourselves a fun little time listening to a bunch of Tom and Dan on the drive back. So. It's all good, and that's pretty much what our day consisted of. She, her legs got a little sore. I was proud of her from as walking and stuff as she did today after the 10K. But um, said her legs got a little sore, and she got a little cramped up on the ride home, just like sitting in the car. Her legs getting a little cramped up, I think. So, but it is what it is. We're gonna watch some um, This Is Us and call it a night. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.